Hello everybody, so this is my first video. Um, due to everybody's requests, the first video is on becoming a registered psychologist in Australia. Okay, so here is a little pathway guide of how to become a registered psychologist in Australia. This photo is taken from the Australian Psychological Society. So as you can see, there are a lot of options in Australia to become a registered psychologist. Okay, so here are the steps required to become a registered psychologist in Australia. It does take six years minimum of training to become a registered psychologist that can practice. So the first step is that you can do a three-year undergraduate course such as a Bachelor of Psychology. Obviously the Bachelor must major in Psychology. Alternatively you can do a graduate diploma which consists of psychology subjects which is available for candidates who have previously completed a Bachelor degree in a different discipline. Okay so the second step is that you must complete a fourth year uh, honours degree or postgraduate diploma in psychology. To be eligible for one of these courses, you must have already completed an APAC accredited three-year undergraduate degree. Okay, so to become a registered psychologist, you have three options. So you have the first option, which requires four years of study and two years of internship, which is a three-year bachelor degree, one year honours, and then two years of internship. The second option is doing a three-year bachelor degree, one year honours, one year working through your master's degree, and then one year of an internship, which is obviously supervised. And the third option is doing a three-year bachelor degree, one year honours, and a two-year master's degree. Okay, so if you choose to go ahead and do your master's degree, basically it must be an APEC approved degree. The areas of practice are clinical neuropsychology, clinical psychology, community psychology, counseling psychology, educational and developmental psychology, forensic psychology, health psychology, organisational psychology and sport and exercise psychology. Okay, so that was just a brief video about how to become a registered psychologist in Australia. If you want some more information, please look at the websites in the description tab. If you have any more questions, please comment below or you can message me through Instagram or Tumblr. Thanks very much for watching.